Okay, the last little tag on bit uh, for this video. Um, so we've got baskets, adding, removing things, but we want to bin the whole order if there is nothing in the basket. Okay, so if someone's taken everything out, then we can get rid of it. So in our remove item from order, that's the best place to check to see if the basket's empty. <coughs> so what we can do is we've already got um, some code in our data that gets us a basket. So we should be able to find out by using that again, get basket for the current order, storage.current order ID. Right, so that will give us a data view object, but we can actually query that directly thanks to object oriented stuff. We can just say dot count. <coughs> So all we're doing is saying run this, that returns it. So we're saying well, we put dot count on the end equals naught. So if the count from that is naught, what we're gonna do is create another little helper, remove basket with the current order ID. Okay. And then we're going to set the basket minus one. All right, so we need to create this little routine. I haven't started my clock again. I don't know why I got that clock. It's not going to take long this video. All right, so we're going to create the remove basket routine. It should be quite simple. Let's just go to it. Now I've generated the method. Change the name of the parameter. So it's the purchase for me purchase ID and all I'm going to do is quite simply delete the purchase ID so I'm going to say string SQL equals delete star from purchase right I must make sure I don't delete all of the purchases. I just want to pick a particular one. So where the ID equals uh, our purchase ID. Now, as an added thing, I'm only going to let users delete their own. So I can actually do that by putting user ID equals. So I'll put a parameter in to pick up the current user. So this will stop anyone dodgily deleting. If I want to give admin functions later, I'll have to use a different query just for an admin to delete stuff. But I don't want a general user guessing a user ID or anything like that. Okay, so that's going to stop that happening. So I'm going to create a parameter collection. PC equals new parameter collection and pc.add new parameter question mark oh, go away go away type code for the purchase ID is a number so these are both going to be numbers these two parameters and that's going to be purchase ID to string because my parameter was a, an integer in this case okay right copy and paste that to create the other one so it's quick and we want the user ID so storage user ID to string okay right so I just need to run my delete query so I'm just going to say data dot execute well, I don't have to say data because I'm in data so I'm saying execute delete with this SQL and those parameters. Okay, and that should be it. So we delete it and then we set the current order ID to minus one to say there is no basket. So we should should have the effect of that is that there'll be no basket information displayed. So let's run the code from the default again so I can log in first. <coughs> Uh, 
Brass, brass for products. So I'm going to buy an Outrun. Uh, I'll have a Star Force, thank you very much. And I'll definitely have a Bomb Jack. So I'll look at my basket, I've got three things in there. Total cost 230, so let's not have the Outrun. Let's not have the Star Force. And when I get rid of the Bomb Jack, it shouldn't display any basket information because I've deleted the entire order. And there we go. Okay, and that is it. So that's enough videos to keep you going for a bit.